They're going to be going up against Method Black, running this cleave with the Demon Hunter, the Death Knight, and the Restoration Druid. Wow, that ball. Yeah. Yeah. 90% of you think that Method Black is going to be able to take it. It sounded like our casters sat in a similar vein. Let's see if In Light can make that upset a reality. 10% just really likes Zuniaki. Here, End Light battle for their tournament <laughs> lives. Method Black in the lower bracket as well. Surprisingly knocked down by the chalky, milky men in the upper bracket, Gelu Baba's team. And it's going to be interesting to see if they can battle back for a rematch in the finals or if they'll just be eliminated entirely. Zuniaki's aggressive lineup is not doing too well in this deep dampening meta. It's not potent enough to kind of penetrate through the defense that all these Restoration Druid teams have available to them. Yeah, Swapsy taking a little bit of damage here. Gets topped off by Chaz very quickly. Zuniaki going to be very vulnerable in this matchup. Triple stun coming in. Swapsy getting low. Maldex doing work here. Chaz gets the Iron Bark onto Swapsy, but now Zuniaki's the one who is in trouble. If Swapsy and Raikou can stay on target, Unholy Death Knights shred through Discipline Freeze, basically countering their shield. Zuniaki landing some sh uh, heals on himself with the Shadow Man's manages to stay alive with the Rapture, but no Trinket. Now he has no Rapture, only a few defensive cooldowns left. And Method Black, I think they can close this game out fa fa fairly early. Historically, Feral Druids also tear apart Death Knights, so I'm curious to see which one ends up being weaker on that spectrum. At the moment, Zuniaki seems to be taking quite the brunt of this exchange, finally catching some Shadow Men's and starting to stabilize. Zuniaki, one of the best disciplined priests easily in the game throughout history. He's actually playing Trinity against this build, which is quite interesting. It's going to put him uh, in a difficult position if he's not able to keep atonements on three players while getting tunneled down. But Swapsy has been kept at bay. He isn't able to stay on target. Raikou is also locked down in crowd control and can't make his way over, but finally they land the double stun. I beam tons of damage by Raikou, and Zuniaki kind of disrespected his damage to trade out Powered Barrier instead of Pain Suppression, but it means he has a lot more health to recover trying to make that decision in that trade, but it seems like it's going to be able to pay off at the end. Yeah, manages to find it. Cassidy casting the Cyclones is going to be soaking a lot of those interrupts for Zuniaki to actually top himself off. Swapsy getting low. Use the Death Pack to keep himself alive. Chaz needs to find the healing on him with the Iron Bark. Should be enough. Cassidy getting a little bit low as well. So here's the problem. When Swapsy and Raikou are on Zuniaki, Cassidy and Kara, they have to be on top of him in order to deal damage. And both the Unholy Death Knight and the Demon Hunter do cleave. So they get like a three-for-one value when they can stay on target on Zuniaki. Grip them in the open like this. You can see Zuniaki has to drink it out. Cassidy getting a little bit low as well then eventually Method Black, they can pick the target that they want to finish off. Zuniaki, the last non-Restoration Druid healer in the tournament, trying to keep that Discipline Priest dream alive in the lower bracket. Is he going to be able to do it is the question. It's not looking too good. They've got decent pressure. Actually moves in and gets a Psychic Scream, isolating Swapsy, and they're going to take the opportunity to chomp down. Swapsy in trouble. Chaz Ironbark's at very low health, and manages to recover, and now Zuniaki is on the ropes with both Raikou and Swapsy on his back. Maledict connects. He's forced to use Pain Suppression and Rapture at the same time, but Ooh. even still, barely hanging on. Another interrupt, and it's going to be Curtains. He manages to land it. Raikou doesn't get faked out. Imprisons Zuniaki at low health for Swapsy to reconnect, and out of this imprison, if you're Zuniaki, what do you really do? He's just ducking around the corner. Another Maledict connects. Raikou's all over him. No interrupt available. Shadow Man's gets fell erupted right at the last second, and perfect interrupt change will allow Method Black to take down Zuniaki in game one. And we already said how difficult it does look for Enlight. Now that we have an extra data point, now that we actually get to see Method Black and Enlight go head to head. Zico, do you think that 90% to 10% is, is an accurate depiction of what we think the odds are here? Um, yeah, it's, it sounds pretty accurate. What's it depends really how stable their internet is in the I feel like that's Method being Black. generous. The 90-10 is generous to end light in this matchup because really I feel like Method Black, they're probably going with this composition because it's the one they've practiced the most. Just in general, it seems really strong. But I feel like there's like five or six different compositions they could run to deal with what end light has available. This is this is one of those scenarios where it is just definitely going to be tough and like yeah go ahead. Although there was moments in that game where it did seem a little scary for Swapsy, so I wouldn't count them completely out. And Method Black, if they trip up a little bit on the damage on their defensive cooldown rotation, I think they can get taken down. But if they don't mess up, I feel like they can't lose. Okay, and dim the lights, Zico, is, is what everybody in the production is saying right now. It looks like those lights might go out very shortly. An elimination series could send them home. We're gonna jump in with Zuniaki inside of the imprisonment.
yeah, I mean, this is a, a nice imprisonment. Going to allow the whole team, of course, to connect there onto Zuniaki. Raikou is going to be leading the charge. He's going to be waiting for that uh, interrupt to come off with DR. He's going to get a nice stun. Cassidy's going to try to clone. Good cross kick there from Swapsy, and then he's going to follow up that stun. Chaz knows and sees it coming, and he can almost always have an answer. Uh, from Kitty Cat to doing the biggest damage in the world, we're going to have to see if in light can manage these big cooldowns, if they can get the pressure that they need to tie up this series or if Method Black can put themselves on match point. Yeah, and let's see how they can do. And Light, they have to play aggressive in this matchup, I believe. Method Black playing the long game against Discipline Priest. I feel like their comp is effective at stalling out the game. And Light, they're going to have to play aggressive. Cassie actually opting to play the adaptation, which is kind of curious to me. I mean, every crowd control is every stun at least, so it allows him to get out of more frequent stuns. I think he's imagining that Zuniaki is the target, so it just allows himself to be more aggressive and maybe bait them to even go on him because he's not going to have a way to get out of stuns. I think it's actually a nice maneuver by Cassidy to try and get some extra uptime. Yeah, Zuniak is going to be able to survive. It looks like Raikou and Swapsy looking for damage on him. Kara coming back, trying to retreat and help him out. Cassidy is trying to solo down Chaz. In the meantime, Kara gets the cleave damage on Swapsy and Raikou, putting out pressure there. And then Cassidy getting nice damage on Chaz. Chaz is going to have to play catch up on all three members. Zuniaki looking for a shackle undead on that abomination. That was a nice little counter. You can see that abomination caught into the shackles. And that's a lot of damage that the Holy Death Knight has available. So it was nicely done by Zuniaki to slow that down. That's a ton of damage off the back of the Avenging Wrath. Dark Archangel as Raikou is forced to retreat away back to Chaz's side. And despite all that pressure that they developed, they really didn't burn any mana on Chaz's side. In the meantime, Chaz cyclones up Cassidy and Zuniaki in a three on two. And having a Death Knight on you is definitely not a walk in the park that you want to be having. And the interrupts are landing through. Zuniaki's forced to trade this powered barrier, but he's still getting interrupted. If they have a stun, this could easily just be it. He manages to stay in it with these Shadow Man spams, allowing himself to somewhat start to stabilize. And it's not too clear to me that N Light have their strategy completely nailed down, and I don't think it's really going to work for them. Swapsy can basically heal through a Rep Paladin by himself with Death Strike, and Raikou is quite self-sufficient as well with his healing, his leech effect from being in Metamorphosis, which he's actively in with I-Beam. So a couple of rejuvenations, plus those healing effects that the Demon Hunter and Death Knight bring. You're not not going to create spread pressure on them. Chaz can then easily have Life Bloom on himself and sit in bear form, and effectively his entire team isn't going to take damage where Zuniaki is. So this strategy is not going to work for them. Yeah, pay attention to Kara's mana bar as well. He is the support Zuniaki needs, and when he is out of mana, cannot provide the additional healing. However, he regenerates mana very quickly, so Kara has to save up his mana for when Zuniaki is in trouble. He can get the heals out keep him topped off, but after that, that is the opportunity for Method Black to really get aggressive where Kara can't really help him. Car is going after Chaz. They've had it. It's enough. All right, Zuniaki, let's see what you can do. It looks like Car is going to just leave you in the wilderness to survive the Death Knights, and if you can't do it, then I guess we're losing, but it's going to inevitably be that case. Now they actually swap to Swapsy with triple crowd control. Good burst. Swiftman, though, and Deathstrike immediately topping Swapsy, despite being a critical moment there, was easily deflected by Method Black. Now Chaz under a bit of pressure as Kara seems to be babysitting a little bit less and starting to swing his hammer down a little bit more. He does generate a lot of pressure during this moment as Raikou gets Hammer of Justice. Zuniaki retreats away, trying to create as much distance as possible, but then getting Death Grip right back into the fight. Swapsy's still low on health, but a nice fell eruption there, stunning the entire team. is going to slow down the fight. Kara trinkets and sanctuaries to allow Zuniaki time to breathe and get back to the pillar and back to safety. Zuniaki's mana is lower, but not nearly as drastically as I was expecting against Chaz in this matchup in particular. This composition does appear to be doing better in terms of at least keeping them alive. Yep, they're staying alive, but offensively they haven't really found too much damage just yet. Raikou's gotten low a few times. Zuniaki gets death gripped in, positioning not uh, on the box anymore. And now Raikou and Swapsy can really get aggressive. Kara has to help him out. He has the freedom. If he can get that on him, Zuniaki can retreat to the box once again. Raps are going to be traded out by Zuniaki allowing him to spam out power word shields to keep his team afloat. But Swapsy, if he can stay on target, it's going to be very scary. But Zuniaki's doing a good job line of sighting Swapsy in this matchup, trying to avoid that unholy death line, who is the real threat to his life. They did actually manage to pull Icebound Fortitude, that cooldown that has a 3M on it underneath Swapsy's frame. It's pretty big defensive cooldown to use in a moment that looked quite mundane. So now without that extra defense later on, he could be vulnerable. Malediction flying in from Chaz. Zuniaki has to deal with that. He is now playing Shining Force to knock 
the DPS members away. Would have liked to see him save it to knock Swapsy away as well. Only getting Raikou, not too effective on a Demon Hunter. Can just bounce right back. Suniaki still making his way around the corner, but inevitably it's just looking like a race that he's not able to win. Chaz can just stay in it longer with the mana, rotate cooldowns more effectively. The Mortal Strike effect, no Mortal Strike effect on either side, but with Necrotic Strike and Malediction, it's way more devastating for the Priest. Yeah, full stun on Zuniaki. He needs to be able to survive. The Powered Bearer comes in. Sanctuary from Kara as well. Kara has to be with Zuniaki for Zuniaki to survive. There is no way he can survive this damage without it. Swapsy actually rotting down a little bit now. Chaz having to play catch up, throws out the Iron Bark, tops out Swapsy instantaneously with that cooldown. Raikou still a very difficult target to take down. Like Sid was saying, he has Leech, so every time he attacks, he actually heals himself up when he's in that metamorphosis. Kara rotting down a little bit. Zuniaki has to play catch up on all three members. But he's still just trying to avoid as much damage for as long as possible. Dampening has now kicked in. Suniaki will be able to hold on for a little bit longer, but as Dampening gets higher and higher, I just don't know if he can survive this damage. I and mean, just look at this brick wall. Method Black's health is just not moving at this point in the match, and Chaz's mana is moving, but not as fast, so it just looks more and more like N Light are going to lose. Zuniaki's been playing as well as he basically possibly can throughout the entire day. It's just the meta is not in his favor at this moment. If he manages to pull it off, it would be quite legendary, so we will have to give him the opportunity to try. Nice Shining Force swaps. He's got a long way to march back towards Zuniaki. Good positioning on that punt, and it will allow Zuniaki an opportunity to breathe and maybe even sit down for a drink and regenerate some men. Nope, Raikou immediately like, no, you don't get to have any chances denying that drink right away. Yeah, Demon Hunters have quite a lot of mobility, so it's going to be difficult for Zuniaki to actually get away and go for those drinks. Bash Cyclo now on Akara. If they can connect on Zuniaki, this is a good opportunity for Method Black. Now that Kara's out of the picture, nice double fear coming out from Zuniaki on a Swapsy and Raikou. Like you said, Sid, Zuniaki's been doing such a phenomenal job in this matchup with his positioning, with his defensive cooldown rotation. It's so difficult for him to really pull ahead in this matchup. Oh. One Trinket comes in, one Maledict. Is he going to get interrupted? No, Zuniaki's actually spamming out the heals. Another Maledict. He's trying to cross the map with this freedom. He gets Death Grip back, getting lower and lower. Paints of Brush to trade it out. Very late. Imprisonment on that. He has the Power Word Barrier coming up just now. He's going to have to use it, but the Shining Force allows him to escape once again. Nicely done by Zuniaki. Good usage of the map as well with that knockback downstairs. Swapsy has to march just so far to get back to his target, which is great against the Death Knight. And Raikou isn't likely to kill Zinyaki on his own. It's just disrupt them until Swapsy can get there, basically on the Demon Hunter's part. But once they're both there, it's quite difficult. Zinyaki sits down for a drink, gets one tick of it, gets full mana. If there was an opportunity for Zuniaki to somehow pull the rabbit out of the hat in this game, it would be at, off the back of a play like that. Dampening starting to ramp up. Raikou getting swapped to. And I don't think they're going to kill Swapsy unless it's exceedingly high dampening. But how do they even make it to that point? It's, it's either Raikou or Chaz that they're going to burst down. I think inevitably if they can't make it that deep. Zuniaki getting interrupted. If they can change, they chain two in a row. Kara tries to back him up, but even still, will it be enough imprisonment on the defensive cooldowns? Raikou knows exactly what he wants to do in this situation to just make it so difficult for Zuniaki to recover, but he does ultimately manage to bounce back. Yep, Zuniaki does stay alive for now, but still getting low. Swapsy putting out a lot of pressure on him. Raikou looking to reconnect as well. Chaz going to get a Cyclone onto Cassidy more than likely. Doesn't manage to find it, but Chaz keeping his team very healthy in this matchup. Abomination gets shackled once again. Nicely done by Zuniaki, but at 20% dampening. What is this Discipline Priest going to do? Shining Force once again being used by Zuniaki. He's trying to kite around the pillar, denying the uptime from Swapsy. Nice Hammer of Justice from Kara. It's dispelled out there, and Swapsy will be free once again, but he just can't connect on target, and this is such good positioning from N Light. Chaz gets cloned up there as Cassie switches some attention to both Swapsy and Raikou trying to spread damage on multiple targets to bait Chaz out of bear form and then stun lock him. And he is doing the best that he can, but in this position in the current meta, Restoration Druid just looks a little bit unbreakable in this matchup in particular. Zuniaki with power barrier down, desperately trying to stay alive, but still barely hanging on. Imprisonment onto the Shadow Man, he just cannot heal. Chaz is under pressure at least. There might be a glimmer of hope here for Zuniaki, but ultimately now stun locked with two members of the team. Swapsy denies 
face the crowd control from the Cyclone of Cassidy, and that denial will allow them an opportunity. Maybe not! Double Psychic Scream! Zunyaki oh. pulls off the Miracle. Does he have a Shining Force for the Darkness? He tried to mind control it, not able to fake cast the interrupts, not able to deny the Darkness, but suddenly out of nowhere, they do manage to deal a ton of damage, but Zunyaki doesn't have much left to try and get another opportunity like that again. And Chaz, or sorry, Kara did train out his Divine Shield as well, so that's not going to be available if they make a swap over onto him, but I feel like Zuniaki is no way. going to continue to be the target of choice in this matchup. There's a hey, discipline there's priest a chance, in a death right? knight in this game. There's no way Swapsy ever targets someone other than Zuniaki. All right, fair enough. Zuniaki on 50%. Once again, gets the Shackle on the Abomination. Very nicely done. I think Chaz actually dispelled him out there, so good pressure now over onto Zuniaki. 30% dampening. How much longer can he survive? The only reason he's alive right now Besides a lot of really good play, is Kara's freedoms. That blessing of freedom allows him to escape the unholy death knight a little bit longer. But now with this positioning, he's not on a box. He can't knock them away. Zuniaki is stuck in midfield, trying to get away once again. The feather comes in. Chains of ice gets used by Swapsy. Nice double fear. Zuniaki doing everything he can, spamming out Shadowmans, Penance, Shadowmans once again. Kara keeping him alive with the hammer of justice over on Raikou. I, I don't think there's many priests in this game that could stay alive <laughs> this long in this matchup. I mean, the composition is supporting him quite effectively as well, but I would definitely commend Zuniaki in this Restoration Druid met, 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 meta. He is able to stay in the fight quite effectively, just ultimately not able to push them over. So it must be so defeating for him if they're not able to pull off at least one win in this matchup. They do have decent pressure right now on Raikou, dampening, reaching critical mass, and maybe finally they can penetrate through the healing effects of this composition that Method Black have crafted. Nice Cyclone coming in from Cassie as well, denying the heals. Avenging Wrath is available for Kara. That is incredibly scary at 35% dampening. Swapsy doing everything he can to survive. AMS gets traded out. He has the Icebound Fortitude as well as the Death Pack to heal himself up if he needs it, but you cannot be too greedy at this point, dampening 40%. Oh. Everyone has sharpened blade on them. Swapsy getting lower. Jazz gets interrupted. <laughs> and and like does it. Unbelievable. I really counted them out. I'm Zuniaki, <laughs> yeah, I'm literally did. screaming. What? Dude, you cannot count Zuniaki out. But this is how we've seen kills happen. People are dying through Iron Barks, through AMS, through Icebound Fortitude, through Death Pack. Playing with fire. We see teams like Lo Looney's team doing it all of the time, playing for dampening, but anything can happen in dampening. If you're not perfect, that can take that win condition straight away. All tied up, though, in Light versus Method Black. I don't really think they have much choice. Zuniaki's team really only has that option. They don't have enough crowd control to remove all three members of Method Black long enough from the game to deny Healing Surge and Cyclone or Regrowth. So all they can do is really stall. Right now, they've got crowd control on Chaz, and they're trying to attack both Swapsy and Waz. Kara, was he playing Repentance no, there? No, he wasn't. Okay, Swaps. now I was thinking maybe Repentance could be a way for them to No, he is playing control. Repentance. He wasn't playing the last series, though, so that is an adaptation. All right, Kara, let's see what you can do with this interesting talent selection. That could be the crowd control option that they need to try and do enough damage. But right now, they have to switch off the target with Thorns currently active, so they're trying to chase down Swapsy. And this corner right here out in the open on Tolveron is the best corner to stand in. If you're an Elemental Shaman, a Balanced Druid, a Mage, a Warlock, anything with Wizards and Wands, you want to be standing in that corner. It's the Wizard corner. There's nowhere to hide if you're Kara or Cassidy or Zuniaki in this position, and it's the best spot to stand on the map, inevitably to peel for your team and dish out tons of damage. So Swapsy knows that, and he's just going to be hanging out in this corner for most of the fight, and it's up to End Light to decide if they want to play in that corner or just wait for dampening, because otherwise they could, and try and do an all-in kill later on. I don't, do we like Chaz playing at the pillar right now? We saw Looney playing completely in the open. And that I think way, he's doing that right now. Yeah, when Karen Cassidy are looking for any sort of crowd control or damage on Chaz, they're just vulnerable in the middle of the map instead of having that pillar where they can really line a sight. So I think Chaz repositioning in this matchup is good. Kara taking some damage right now. Zuniak able to spam out the Shadowmans. Dark Archangel is up right now, empowering their heals, looking for a repentance once again. And Chaz has been able to avoid them so far, but Kara can sneak one of those in later on in the game, especially in dampening. That could be huge for N Light. Hibernate and repentance. Pretend that you're playing Mage Feral for a second, but... I don't think it's going to work. I, even if they do manage to get this Repentance on Chaz, they're actually just using it on Waz. Maybe they try to run Chaz out of mana by dispelling on cooldown. It seems like N Light are just fishing for things to work, and 
I don't think any of them are going to ultimately work. Zuniaki is, does have decent mana, and to be fair, the pressure from Method Black has not been nearly as tremendous as we saw from Baba's boys earlier today. Yeah, that is true, but maybe we're being reminded of the late games in Dampening where healing does fall behind, because that's I, I feel like that was a very critical factor for uh, this particular matchup to end. Kara in midfield once again looking for some damage over on the Swapsy, but not really finding it just yet. Chaz able to easily heal through this damage so far. Kara is looking for the crowd control. He has his Avenging Wrath, so what I think their game plan is is try to find some crowd control at some point, and when they do, pull the trigger with everything and try to take someone down. But outside of those crowd control chains, I just don't see them doing more damage than Chaz can easily heal through. All right, Kara left in midfield and taking a lot of damage is the brunt of that maledict. And Zunyak says, okay, Kara, you had enough fun in the wizard corner. Time to come back to the pillar. And then Kara says, no, Dad, I'm going back, and just immediately runs back into the fight to get cycloned. Not able to really get much going here against Method Black. Zuniaki looks like he's eager to march across the battlefield for crowd control, but that's a pretty risky maneuver. Repentance again just being constantly cast it on Waz, even though Chaz can remove it almost immediately. Thunderstorm by Swapsy. Still a ton of damage crunching here. Chaz will deny with Iron Bark as we etch closer to dampening, which is, I think, an inevitability in this matchup in particular. Good Tremor Totem by Swapsy, removing that Psychic Scream on Chaz, but Hammer of Justice will now continue the chain, and Kara actually switches to Chaz at Waz, protects him, and this is what I mean. You can stun up one target and go after it, but if the other two are free, it's almost impossible to find any opportunity to kill, especially with the composition with no Moral Strike, no healing reduction, such as the composition that N Light have brought. It seems to be the case that they just don't have an answer to this Restoration Druid dampening meta. Yeah, it seems really difficult for them to deal with. I mean, in the last game, they did a really good job managing to pull it out, till dampening, finding their win condition. Maybe they can do it once again, but I just feel like the Boomkin and the Elemental Shaman are so durable, it becomes very difficult. And that's why I feel like Method Black, they have such a huge advantage in this matchup. Lightning Lasso on Kara once again. Swapsy putting out huge damage. Zuniaki has to respond with the Rapture there to keep Kara alive and should be able to easily do so as Kara charges in once again looking for some pressure. To be fair, Kara can survive for pretty much the same reason with Word of, Word of Glory as well as Swiftman from Cassidy and Zuniaki. It's effectively six healers in the arena. If you can't remove all three threats, one of them could potentially deny a kill during that burst moment until you do get to deep stages of dampening. Kara currently with Avenging Wrath activated, trying to get some work done here, but Swapsy already kited away. Kara forced to attack Waz. He would much rather be attacking Swapsy, I do believe, in this current position, but they are going to switch their attention to Waz, try and create some pressure there, but not really generating anything off the back of this Avenging Wrath. Kara caught in a Lightning Lasso as Swapsy tries to set up some damage for his team. That Malediction Trinket really paying its weight in gold as Kara gets bursted down, but with all three members open to heal, it should be Kara recovering. Actually, Cyclone at low health. If they can get Divine shield from Kara before dampening starts. He won't have that for his big push, so he needs to hold on to it if he can. Denying with that shield of vengeance, soaking up a huge hit with that shield, but even still, now the shield of vengeance has been cracked, and Kara is still exposed in center field. Sopsy Hex Zuniaki. Cassidy is out of range to dispel it, moves right back in. Kara trinkets out of lightning lasso and retreats. I think Kara must know, if they can get mana, wait until really mega dampening like they did against Swapsy's Death Knights. Perhaps they can close the game out that way, and that's why they've decided, okay, it's time to retreat. We've got, managed to have mana in dampening. We still have Divine Shield, and we need to hold on to that as long as possible. Swapsy just casting out the chain lightning, trying to get out as much consistent damage as pro possible. And now you can see Swapsy on one side of the pillar. You can see Waz on the other side of the pillar, just looking for damage, trying to not allow End Light to get a full reset in this matchup. But it's pretty hard not to stop them from resetting at this point in the game. They're all going to be running away, realizing this is not the winning strategy. They can't just be in Sid's wizard corner. Um, and actually secure a kill, so they have it's to wait marks, by the way. for a little bit later on in the game. We're at 9% dampening now. And my prediction for this game, I want to know your prediction, Sid. I feel like this is going to, like, 54%. For some reason, I actually think Zuniaki's going to win, though. Even though we've just been counting him out the entire day, I, I think if they do this strategy, the SSDS classic, just stay at the corner and wait and pray and go for an all-in kill, that it can work just based on what they saw, what I saw them do to Swapsy's Death Knight earlier, but they have to make it to that point, and Kara is kind of just cheekily standing in the open, and during Incarnation of Waz, that's not exactly the danger that you want to be playing with. Cassidy is way too far out. He says, yep, get back, run to the corner and hide from this Elemental Shaman, dishing down pain, and Enlight do manage to get back to the pillar and stay in it. 
Yep, Cassidy tossing out some regrowths. Kara Zuniaki and Cassidy and Light, they have managed to survive for now. Method Black hasn't <laughs> taken damage in quite some time. All of them sitting very healthy. Chaz in a very defensive position, spamming out the heals. Waz looking for damage on Zuniaki as well. Uh, but there's just not too much that Enlight can really do. If they push out into the open, it's just not a favorable trade. So like we kind of talked about, their best option, wait until the rest of Druid healing isn't effective anymore. Try to push in, all in, go really aggressive, but they need high levels of dampening for that to work. I'm thinking 40% is probably the critical mass mark where they do make a big push. So we're almost halfway to that point and Method Black have to make the decision. Do we win on that all in? Because if they don't, they should be running on top of Enlight. And we did see Baba's boys run on top of them when they started doing this and attacking all three members. So Method Black playing patient in this position could actually cost them. Well, it looks like Waz is pushing in. To be fair, Swapsy and Waz are on top of them. They still want to run too far behind the pillar. Chaz now not able to get out healing on Waz. It was a nice cyclone by Cassidy. Cassidy trying to extend the chain by getting crowd control over onto Chaz. Manages to find the cyclone. There it is. The Repentance finally lands. Can they put some pressure on Waz? Doesn't look like it. 21% dampening, just not enough just yet. Here, though, with that Repentance, those are the things that could win them the game later on. I still feel like it's going to be a kill on Chaz. I'm not sure. Maybe Swapsy without Frenzy Regen. They can crush him through Astral Shift. We're now over the 20% dampening mark, over halfway, I think, to the point Enlight needs critical mass to be able to take down the target. And uh, we have to wait and see which exactly the target is going to be in deep damage. I'm not even sure if they know what would be the best target in this case. I'm not sure how often they try to do this strategy in particular. It's usually a strategy you only employ if you absolutely have to, and it's typically destruction warlocks. But in this case, it's also if you're playing not a retribution paladin into an elemental shaman balance druid, you just simply cannot play out in the open. You only have this option. You have to save Divine Shield for an aggressive push. Otherwise, you're just simply too exposed and will get destroyed out in midfield. Chaz sits down for a drink. He knows that this is going into deep dampening. At least wants to make sure that mana isn't a problem. So he is conscientious of that, at least. Waz getting bashed up, but Zuniaki's got a powered berry. Finally, we see Method Black developing some pressure on targets here, and they need to start punishing this playstyle from N Light dis despite it, because if Kara pushes forward for that all in, it, it could cost them a game, and if they lost this series, it would be devastating for them in the tournament season. Yeah, there's no question about it, and you can see Zuniaki really struggling to keep his team alive, relying on Cassidy and Kara's off heels. It becomes really difficult for the Discipline Priest, especially as dampening gets higher and higher. All these little bits of damage, the damage over time uh, effects from the Moonfire, the Sunfire, the Flame Shock from Swapsy and Waz will eventually add up to an amount Zuniaki can't really handle. All right, Avenging Wrath. It looks like Kara wants to make a move, and he's doing a ton of damage and catching Method Black asleep, maybe. Chaz responds just a little bit late. However, responding is going to be enough for Swapsy to recover, and now they've got Kara exposed. Cassidy says, nope, I'm getting back to this pillar with Zuniaki, but Kara got left behind, trying to make his way back over. Ursul's Vortex trying to catch that life grip with it, not able to find it. They go for the Maledict to play on Kara with Star Surge comboed together. But he is able to duck out a line of sight, and I think that that Avenging Wrath was a bit premature. Fortunately, it's not that long of a cooldown, only another minute and 25 seconds before Kara can make an attempt again with that opportunity. But based on the results of that attack, I'm not thinking that 40% is enough. <laughs> yeah, no, we need 52%, which was my prediction. Are you Swapsy, think 52%? I think so. It might even be higher, to be honest with you. Swapsy didn't even use his astral shift in that exchange. But to be fair, Cassidy still has his berserking, so he can get aggressive. Feral Druid cooldowns are very effective as well. They might be able to take down Swapsy or at least force Ironbark again. I mean, at this point, Zuniaki's mana isn't looking too hot. So if, if Method Black can start getting some damage out, I think they are going to take this. But they don't look nearly as confident as uh, we saw Looney's team earlier in the day against Enlight. Of course, Enlight employed a completely different strategy. They did not try this. Let's just chill until as high as we can go and pray that they just die because that's. Seems to be their only option. Triple Capacitor Totem here as they do finally start to 
push forward. And like Zico said in the pregame analysis, that this map can backfire because this pillar is just simply so big, you can never actually get around it to kill anybody. So maybe a, an open field map would have been a better selection and play Rogue Mage on this map because Rogue Mage would have made more sense and then play Runes Lord. But in the meantime, Karga gets bursted down. He has to hold on to Divine Shield. If he uses it to survive, he can't use it to attack. If he can't use it to attack, he simply can't attack. So they have to be careful. They've played it out for this late game. They can't afford to just throw it away. Yeah, Avenging Wrath is up and the Berserking. So this is Endlight's opportunity. They need the Dark Arc Angel in 30 seconds. And that is going to be the moment where they can push in Potentially, I mean, they could wait even longer if they really wanted to. Jazz sitting down. I think for you wait. I actually think you wait. Uh, wait, seventy percent. But I, that's risky. <laughs> I feel like it's risky to wait that long because that's a point where Zuniaki can't ever recover. Well, I like, mean, double thorns. Like you're gonna, <laughs> you, you you have to divine shield when you do it because it's gonna be double thorns. You're taking too much damage, and if he divine shields and it's not enough, then the game is over. So uh, I feel like they're gonna have to wait even longer if they want to make sure that they get it, because if they don't get it during Divine Shield, they're not getting it. And we'll have to see. Zuniaki moving in. This is, could be it. Looking to go after Waz right yeah. now. Dark Archangel. Every single button has been pressed, except the Berserking from Cassidy. They managed to hold on to that. Barskin still not used by Waz, but it gets interrupted. Getting a little bash on Chaz. Waz could get taken down here, but the bear form is just so effective. Swapsy spamming out heals. Chaz with the Iron Bark. Waz with the Barskin. But now maybe Karen Cassidy, they can just push him over. Repentance on Swapsy. Fear comes in as well. Waz has to be able to stabilize just a little bit longer. Longer. They need to be able to survive to put the counter pressure over on the end light, but they might be able to just take Waz down right here and right why, now. Why isn't Waz using thorns? He's been sitting on it this entire time. He could have got so much counter pressure with the thorns. He's still not using it, but they didn't get the kill. I don't believe they're going to get the kill. Repentance. Chaz dodges it. Good awareness by Chaz, despite dampening being so high. Avoids the crowd control. Trinkets the stun, and now that's Divine Shield. They committed. They Repentance. didn't get the kill. Repentance. Is it going to be enough? Because I really don't think so. Was I don't think he bind his thorns in this game because he still <laughs> hasn't used it, despite this being the best opportunity ever to use it against this composition. He's just holding on to it. And now Chaz is going to come out of crowd controls, and he's definitely going to use his thorns immediately, and they really just can't afford to attack into it. And this is what I was saying. I think they actually should have just waited. They had to wait longer. It was not deep enough into dampening, and now they have to wait three minutes for another Divine They don't throw. have three minutes. They don't. I can guarantee you that we are 56% damage car. He used his Divine Shield to push in aggressively. Zuniaki almost completely tapped there on mana. Was pushing in. Incarnation. This is devastating for Enlight. They're trying to hold on just a little bit longer. Maybe they can take Waz down. Cassidy running for his life as well. All three members of Enlight once again in full retreat. But maybe Method Black won't be able to actually finish off this game. Like Zika was saying, this map is a double-edged sword. This is a huge pillar that they can use to run around, avoid damage, really mitigate what Method Black can do offensively. Uh, I mean, Zuniaki, you've got 10% mana, half health. The it's Zuniaki, team, man. The enemy team, full health, basically full mana. I, I don't know at this point much, much else he can do. Lava Burst fly in. He just pops Dark Archangel and says, okay, team, go for it. I I'm chilling back here because there's not much else I can do. Jumps out with a Powered Solace. They can't attack into Thorns. They can't afford the cost, but everybody is just dead on the side of Enlight as Dampening mounts up higher and higher. Cassidy gets swapped to and bursted out of nowhere. Zuniaki's got nothing to work with. In desperation, they try and kill Wasman and other Thorns. They can't afford to attack into it or they're just going to be throwing their own lives away, but they're just risking it. They don't care. It's do or die. Get the Repentance and win. Solar Beam denies it. That Repentance might have actually been able to close the game. Good awareness by Waz. He's back to the Super T's Wizard corner and in this position it's going to be curtains for the team of N Light as Lava Burst finally close it out at 65% dampening. Method Black put N Light on match points. I do have to oh, yeah. say dampening. Why? You can just stay behind that pillar, force Waz to actually go in. If Swapsy goes in alone, you just hit him. That is he's, he's always going to line and range chess. You always position yourself so that you you will make Swapsy in order to hit you, he has to line up size chess. And then you just hit him. And then if Waz goes in on the other... Question is, will he be able to play out of his mind yet again? Will we get a game five? Or will we get Enlight sent out of this tournament? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's match point. The final series of the day. Enlight, Zuniaki's team, they face elimination. They have not been able to find an answer for this Restoration Druid Elemental Shaman Balancer throughout the entire tournament. And unless they can pull off a miracle here in game number four, I do believe... They are going to be sent packing 
Car jumps in towards Chaz. Cassidy is gunning down Waz. They're going for a split strategy, trying to mix it up, trying to catch Chaz off guard, and then maybe go for a freezing trap and a swap later on. But in the meantime, Cassidy's been stalled out with a cyclone and unable to start ramping. Car are going to start the attack with a freezing trap as they do select their target. Both Swapsy and Waz taking a bit of heat here. Chaz repositions, Innervate, well-timed there by Chaz, allowing him to freely heal through the multi-target damage of N-Light. They do manage to get at least a decent amount of pressure early on. Yep, N-Light, they're playing very aggressive, bashing now onto Chaz, Waz falling behind, Swasti falling behind as well. Chaz just needs a few moments to top off his team, though, and then this offensive push will be sort of uh, knocked away. And unfortunately for N-Light, if they can't continue this pressure, it's going to be difficult for them moving forward. Chaz getting swapped to now. Nice mind control on Swapsy. N-Light all over the place in this matchup. This is a great opener for them. Cassie now into the bash. Doesn't have a trinket. Rafter from Zuniaki will keep him alive as they're forced off onto the pillar once again. And Cassidy retreating back to the safety of this pillar in midfield, and then as soon as he's recovered, jumping back into the fight. Surprisingly, Zuniaki actually is ahead on mana. This might be the only point that this happened, so I want to point it out, but this strategy may actually be opportunity for Enlight. They've got a lot of pressure. Chaz is dipping low, but with both Regrowth, Cyclone, and Healing Surge being casted, it's unlikely that Chaz will go down, even with the Maledict. Potentially, Dark Archangel might be enough for Cassidy to bite through it. They do manage to pull at least multiple defensive cooldowns from Chaz as soon as they see that. Another opportunity to switch to a different target, and Enlight are playing this match the best that I've seen them play throughout the tournament. Yep, Zuniaki, instead of sort of playing midfield, running at Chaz, he's playing on the pillar, he's keeping his team aggressive, so doing a good job, putting the fears onto Swapsy when he can to deny some of those off skills when they do make those swaps onto Chaz. So I think Zuniaki is playing this game a lot better than he did against Baba's boys on Ruins of Lordaeron. Now Waz getting a little bit low. He has the Thorns activated, so going to be using it th this game to redirect some damage onto Cassidy and Kara as they are looking to get aggressive. All right, Kara still trying to keep the pressure, but gets lightning lassoed by Swaps. He's cycling on Cassidy, everyone in crowd control. Zuniaki still ahead on mana in this matchup if they could somehow manage to keep that going into the late game. And I love these freezing traps on Chaz. Maybe he should time them during the defensive cooldown windows like Barkskin and Iron Bark to try and force even more during that window, but they do pull Astral Shift from Swapsy, and this is the most cooldowns we've seen them get against this composition, and either they're playing significantly better or Baba's boys are playing much better than Method Black are in this composition. I mean, this may be the first time we've seen Method Black play this. They're just pulling it out of their pocket, and you can definitely see the difference between a team that's well-versed. Zuniaki still playing the pillar. Powered Solace, that little beam of light that jumps out from Zuniaki, he has to use that on cooldown to generate mana, and it also deals damage. If he can use that as often as possible in his rotation, he can potentially outmana Chaz, but if he's not managing it properly, he will start to fall behind. I like what Swapsy's doing. He's playing on top of Zuniaki, not allowing to just spam out smites, keeping the pressure onto him. Meanwhile, Waz getting damage onto Kara, onto Cassidy during this matchup. Lightning Lasso now onto Zuniaki, actually activating his human Rachel to get out of that every man for himself. But still, uh. nice pressure from Swapsy. Chaz getting swapped to in the meantime. Barskin was forced out. Cassidy looking for a Cyclone onto Chaz, freezing his HP. He's looking to spread his damage over time effects onto Swapsy as well. I'm just wondering if, if there's any other healers. Zuniaki, I, I guess the Root Solar Beam isn't really that effective, so playing human, I do believe, allows him... Is he playing Night Elf? It's hard to tell. I think he's actually playing Night Elf. I'm not sure why Zuniaki is running Night Elf of all the choices that he has available, unless he just likes the aesthetic of Night Elf. But uh, he can Shadow Mel, but it's a lot more difficult than just simply being able to get out of a stun or get out of a root effect. So a bit surprising choice there. Car kind of makes sense with the Dark Iron Dwarf. You can remove all the magic over time effects, get a big boost of damage. And then Cassidy is kind of limited on his options, really, at least until we get Kul'Tirans. I'm not sure when they are coming, but they are coming. So maybe we see that in the future. In the meantime, Cassidy getting caught in center field. Zuniaki lined up, primed and ready. Swapsy's so actually trying to go after Zuniaki a lot more, which is interesting. Chaz, though, gets freezing trapped, unfortunately, at the same time that Waz gets Cyclones. They're forced to attack a different target. However, N Light have way more pressure than I've ever seen so far against this composition, and they've got good mana as well. And we're going to a game five potentially here. Unfortunately, that game five is probably going to be a Death Knight Swapsy. So even if Zuniaki manages to pull this off, he has to do it again. And this is the most difficult tournament you could ever put a Discipline Priest in easily. Yep, Zuniaki is up to the challenge, though, doing a great job keeping his team alive. Cassidy now taking a little bit of damage. Nice Cyclone coming in from Chaz or Waz. I'm not sure which one managed to find that on Cassidy, freezing his HP. Rapture now up for Zuniaki. 
It's a very low cooldown. Um, uh, it's a very low cooldown cooldown that Zuniaki has available. Every minute and 20 seconds, he can keep his team alive with that by just spamming out the power ward shields. It's very effective. Zuniaki hasn't had to use the pain suppression or the powered barrier just yet in this matchup. We are now just entering dampening at 3%. It's going to become more difficult for both of these teams. Method Black has sort of stabilized, and it is Zuniaki that's struggling to sort of catch up his team. Yeah, mana's still in it, but... Uh, these burst windows are just going to get more and more scary. With no Gladiator's Medallion on Cassidy, Lightning Lasso cannot be removed by him, and Lightning Lasso does the most damage on the team of Method Black, so it's going to be a bit scary there. Chaz in a freezing trap. Zuniaki still posted up in midfield, just maximizing his damage, maximizing his mana retention to try and desperately win the game in the late later stages, but going up against the Restoration Druid variant is not likely. Cassidy gets bursted down, Swapsy moves in, trying to close this match, but he has overextended and decided to not overstay his welcome. Thunderstorming both Cassie and Kara away and pulling back to Chaz's side. In the meantime, Chaz decided to try and sneak away for a drink during that opportunity, but did not manage to find it. Kara does deny him that opportunity, and with mana still tied, it's still anyone's match. Chaz gets stunned up. Is Kara going to go for the freezing trap? Is now the question. Doesn't look. He is going to go for the freezing trap, but Cassie just can't attack. He's forced to retreat away, and it's such a difficult dance to initiate if you want to chain crowd control together but you're in counter pressured at the same time you have to stop so many vital abilities any one of them going off can just deny your kill and it's just so difficult to do on top of that you need deep dampening to really penetrate just through the passive nature of the restoration druids heal over time effects and it's looking rather grim but zuniaki is still keeping that light at the end of the tunnel he's still marching towards it despite how grim the outcome looks Yep, full trap now on Chaz. Do they have the damage on Swapsy or Waz? It looks like they are splitting right now. Swapsy taking a little bit of damage as the Maledict Trinket does absorb some healing. Number two coming in. Chaz dispels it. Swapsy should be able to survive with that. And in the meantime, N Light doing quite healthy. Getting bashed up as Cassidy in midfield. Zuniaki getting interrupted here. Kara just behind the pillar, just kind of sitting there. I think he might have to res his pet once that beam. He was st standing in the beam for too long. He was silenced. He couldn't res his pet. Finally able to walk out of that, get his pet out, and now he can push in, try to get the crowd control over onto Chaz, and they can continue this damage on the Waz. Freezing trap secured. Dampening ramping up. This is when they need to try and get bark skin from Waz to look for kills later on, but they're not even getting it. Waz in bear form with thorns, redirecting damage and making himself more durable. This is a dangerous choice, but they're just trying to gun through it. Trying to force a kill potentially. Iron Bark will deny it. Cassidy moves over to Chaz immediately to try and switch some attention, but Lightning Lasso will deny some of the follow up. Zuniaki sitting down for a drink. Earth do manage to stop it with a star fall and a cap totem eventually. Zuniaki not going to be getting any mana, but he still has a well established lead, at least moving into dampening. They just need to start forcing some cooldowns. They do have good crowd control here on Swapsy. Maybe they go in for the kill here and now. No, nope, not enough. And Cassidy is forced away immediately by Waz's incarnation. Lots of star surge damage. Maledic soaking up some healing from Zuniaki. Does not have Dispel available, it appears. And Cassidy is just struggling to stay in the fight. Dome of Light here by Zuniaki. Well placed during the incarnation. And with that Cyclone on Waz will completely nullify the assault of Method Black. Yeah, Waz into the Cyclone, slowing down all of that damage at 22% dampening. Things are going to become very scary. Zuniaki's team and Light, they aren't playing nearly as defensive as we saw in the last game, so I think it's unlikely we're heading to 60% Dampville. Chaz now caught into the full stun. Is there going to be a follow-up trap? It looks like nice pressure coming in from Kari. He's actually just deciding to pressure down Chaz instead of trapping him. Now that he's low, he gets trapped. Waz getting rotted down as well by Cassidy. Cassidy could be in a little trouble, though. Caught in the midfield. Swapsy putting out big damage. Lava Burst coming in onto him. But Zuniaki doing a good job on this pillar, keeping him alive, keeping him offensive. But a nice thunderstorm from Swapsy, both Cassidy and Zuniaki. Caught into the midfield. Lightning Lasso will put out huge damage onto Cassidy as well. Zuniaki is running out of mana, and he is running out of time. Yep, he that well-established lead is all but burned out. And Zuniaki needs to replace the light bulbs on his team. He's trying to here, sitting down for a drink and allowing himself to regenerate. If he gets full mana, he's not able to. Starfall denies it. He didn't even want to risk it. But with half mana... Is half mana enough? Zuniaki moves in, drops the Maledix, tries to get a lot of damage up, but not really getting too much. Cassidy's taking the brunt of the exchange. Lightning Lasso followed up from Bash. Devastation during this cooldown. Cassidy just cannot get any pressure going. Waz activates Thorns, double Thorns. I do not believe that they stack, so a bit of a mistake there on the part of Method Black. Cassidy retreats away. Zuniaki's already burned the mana he got from that drink just moments ago, and despite playing this out as effectively as he can, it's just looking more and more grim. Maybe they all in on Chaz on the next stun with Dark Archangel. So I'm starting to just kind of 
wasted his Gladiator's Medallion. That's actually a pretty big mistake. I wouldn't actually be surprised to see Swapsy die pretty shortly from that mistake. No, Preemptive Astral Shift will kind of shore up that. He may oh, just die oh, oh. anyway. Where is his damage coming from? From Enlight, Swapsy stays alive. Healing Surges and Cyclones to back him up, but how much longer? Dampening seems to be finally starting to make it difficult for Chaz to immediately recover. Zinyaki's forced to Life Grip Cassidy to safety right as that Maledict connected to spell it and top off. Both teams almost on the ropes for mana. One more big push, but two thorns are available for Method Black. If Waz activates that, it's going to be a risky exchange for Enlight to trade damage onto Swapsy and damage onto themselves during that moment, during the thorns activation. Car preemptive act aspect of the turtle to try and allow Zuniaki to get mana back, but Waz denies it with Starfall, and now there's no aspect of the turtle. Cassidy's so low. Zuniaki's got no mana. Everybody's back to full HP on Method Black and still got a little bit of mana left in the tank, and this is just looking like an inevitable ability for Enlight's defeat. Yeah, this is what's so difficult for Enlight. No one has Trinket. Kara has his rotating up, but Cassidy, if he gets caught in a full cyclone from Waz, which is likely if they are on Swapsy, their offensive push just gets stopped completely. Bash now onto Waz. He has the bar skin. He has the thorns up as well. It's going to be difficult for Enlight to push through this. Chas still has the Iron Bark to fall back on as well. Dark Archangel was used there by Zuniaki. Powered Barrier gets dropped out. Cassidy gets cycloned and knocked out of it. So he is vulnerable in car. He doesn't have that aspect of the turtle for quite some time. Complete control of this last little bit of the game from Method Black. 41% dampening, and this is where Zuniaki is really going to struggle on their discipline freeze. I mean, once again, Method Black all back to full HP. The only thing really is Chaz made a mistake. He pre iron bark. Never mind, the mistake is made up for it, and Waz is basically not going to be going down it whatsoever. And there's too much damage for Enlight as they're just quivering around the corner to stay alive, to have any opportunity to snag more points in the first first tournament, but with absolutely nothing left in complete defiance, they tried to make a final stand, but ultimately will be a final fall. I do believe here shortly, Swapsy lines up the Stormkeeper, goes around the corner, and as soon as these lightning bolts, he get denied with the bash. They're squeaking for any opportunity, any little sign of weakness that they can try and exploit, but there just really isn't one. Solar Beam on the entire team. Zuniaki's got nothing left, and everybody is rotting down. Zuniaki man just to stay in it just a bit longer. Maledix connects. Gasty cannot afford to attack into Thorns, which gets activated. Zuniaki activates Dark Archangel. It's all or nothing, but I think it's going to be What nothing. is happening? Cassidy hangs on. I, they're, ah! they're playing it out so bravely, but I just know they're inevitably going to die. They're just trying <laughs> to do whatever they can to get a kill, but they can't crack Chaz's the oom. defense. Chaz's can they crack the defense? Oom. I don't know what's going on. Full trap on Chaz. No way. Can they take Swapsy down? He has the astral shift. He gets interrupted. He activates it just a little too late. Sort of baiting Enlight into the open. But this might be too late in the game with a stun on Chaz. Can they take him down? Double fear no as way. well on Chaz. No tremor totem no available. Way. How is he alive? Enlight, can they do the impossible and take him down? Zuniaki, Kara, Cassidy all so low. The last push, the last effort they have to try to take down Swapsy. Thorns denies it. Chaz uses the iron bark, but he's still low. Oh, Zuniaki holding on by a thread. How? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Zuniaki needs your energy. Everybody watching right now. Can he pull off the miracle? The last discipline priest in the tournament filled with nothing but druids. Cassidy gets cloned in low health. But this Swapsy is still so low. Healing Surge manages to stabilize. Cassidy comes with a clump of Zuniaki's bashed. And finally, Method Black pushed them out of their misery. Cross kill? No way, right? I, they've got to be putting them out of their misery at this point. Zuniaki just refusing to go down even in these final seconds two versus three hexed up no way to connect car still just jumping at his target like come here i'm gonna do this i don't care i've played this out for <laughs> i need to get this kill i've played this series up for far too long car says but i mean with his pet dead and uh, instead of Barabi, perhaps uh, or something you know and they're just gonna come back stronger but for now